I want to work through another example from Notes on DPQ by Level. This is example 1.4.2. This is a mixture problem. It's very similar to a mixture problem we've done in the past. However, this time there's a different rate flowing into the tank as there is flowing out of the tank. In the past we've always had the input and the output rates be identical. We have a tank that holds 100 liters of fluid. It currently has 10 kilograms of salt dissolved in 60 liters of water. What's going into this tank is a brine solution that has a concentration of 0.1 kilograms per liter and it's being pumped in at a rate of 5 liters per minute. The solution in the tank is well stirred and it comes out of the tank at 3 liters per minute. And the question is how much salt is in the tank when the tank is full? Again, I'll be using slightly different notation than the textbook, but I think you'll be able to follow along. The first thing I like to do is draw a picture. I have a 100 gallon tank and initially I have 60 gallons in it. What's going in is 5 liters per minute at a concentration of 0.1 kilograms per liter. What's coming out is a rate of 3 liters per minute, but we don't know what the concentration is because that's going to change over time. I'm letting A of T be the amount of salt in kilograms in the tank at a particular time T, and I know that A0 is equal to 10. So like before, the rate of change of salt in the tank is the rate of change of salt in the tank minus rate of change of the salt out of the tank. So this capital R has to do with the rate of change of the salt. So let's look at our Rn first. We have 5 liters per minute, that's the rate of the fluid going in, times the concentration of the salt in the fluid, which is 0.1 kilograms per liter. And if we simplify units, we see that what goes into the tank is 0.5 kilograms per minute. That's the rate of change of salt going into the tank. All right, now let's look at our R out. I'm still gonna have the liquid coming out at three liters per one minute. Now we need to multiply this by the concentration of salt in the water. So the amount of salt in the tank at any particular moment in time is AT. Now before what I was able to do was just divide this by 60. That is how much water I have in the tank. However, because I'm having five gallons going in and three gallons going out, over time, the amount of fluid in the tank is increasing. Every minute, the difference between the rate of fluid going in minus the rate of fluid going out will be added to the tank. So that works out to be 5 minus 3 times t plus my original 60. If I had more water flowing out of the tank than going into the tank, for instance, if I had 3 gallons going in and 5 gallons going out, it would be in the same form, but then it would be 3 minus 5, and then I would have a negative number, and then the tank would be emptying over time. So this makes sense. After one minute, I should have 60 plus 2 liters. After two minutes, I should have 60 plus 4, and I've got this equation worked out. Let's double check our units, because it's really easy to forget about the 3 liters out front. But I know I want to end up with kilograms per minute, so I think I have that. So my R out ends up being 3A divided by 60 plus 2T. Let's put this together now in one differential equation. And I'm going to use prime notation again. And now I'm going to put it in standard form. And I'm going to take note that this is a first order. And it's a first order ODE. It's linear. But this one, unlike other modeling problems, this is not autonomous. And the reason why it's not autonomous is the independent variable t is in our differential equation. Therefore, this is not an autonomous equation. That is, when we looked at this experiment, it would matter. If I looked at the tank at 9 o'clock versus 9.10, I'm going to see a different result. So let's go ahead and solve this. Because this is a linear equation, I'm going to use the integration factor. I'm going to do a simple u sub, and again, I'm going to use parentheses instead of absolute value bars because I know that the amount in the tank will always be positive. And now I'm going to use one of my logarithmic properties. And now I'm going to rewrite this simply as 60 plus 2t to the 3 halves power. And that's my integration factor. So now I'm going to rewrite my original differential equation 
by multiplying both sides of the equation by the integration factor. And again, at the same time, I'm going to rewrite the left-hand side as simply ddt of my a times my integration factor. I know what my integration factor is, so I'm going to go ahead and substitute that in. And now I'm going to integrate both sides. I'm rewriting 0.5 as 1 half, so everything's in terms of fractions. And again, 1 half times c, I'm just writing as c. And now I'm going to divide both sides so I can solve for a alone. Notice I'm not rolling this c into a giant c because I've got a t in there. So that is going to change as time goes by. I can only roll constants into constants. t is not a constant. So if I simplify this, this is now my general solution. That was a lot of work. However, I'm not done yet because the question asked how much salt is in the tank when this tank is completely full. So first we have to find out when the tank will be full. Well, I said the amount of fluid in the tank was 60 plus 5 minus 3 times t, and we want to see when this actually equals 100. And we find after 20 minutes, the tank will be completely full. So now we're going to let t equal 20 in our equation to find out how much salt we get at that point. And you look at this and think, well, Professor Yagadich, I think you've forgotten something. Yeah, we need to find C first. How do we find C? We find C like we've always found C, with our initial condition. So we're going to hold off on this, and now I'm going to say our initial condition was at T equals zero, we had 10 kilograms of salt. Or C is approximately equal to 1859.03. Now I can go back to this equation and replace the c with the number I just calculated, and now I should be able to find what a is. And the amount of salt after 20 minutes is 11.86 kilograms.